Have you ever wondered what the Lord's anger looks like? I mean, we all know what anger looks like from a human perspective. But what does it look like when the God of all creation pours out His anger? Well, that's what's happening starting in verse 15 of Jeremiah 25. So let's take a look at it together. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, said to me. Take from my hand this cup filled with the wine of my wrath and make all the nations to whom I send you drink it. When they drink it, they will stagger and go mad because of the sword I will send among them. So I took the cup from the Lord's hand and made all the nations to whom he sent me drink it, Jerusalem and the towns of Judah, its kings and officials, to make them a ruin and an object of horror and scorn, a curse as they are today. Pharaoh, king of Egypt, his attendants, his officials, and all the people, and all the foreign people there. And the dialogue goes on to cover the history of all those nations the Lord has afflicted with his anger. Then in verse 34, a graphic picture of what that looks like. It says, Weep and wail, you shepherds. Roll in the dust, you leaders of the flock. For your time to be slaughtered has come. You will fall like the best of rams. The shepherds will have nowhere to flee. The leaders of the flock, no place to escape. Hear the cry of the shepherds, the wailing of the leaders of the flock. For the Lord is destroying their pasture. The peaceful meadows will be laid waste because of the fierce anger of the Lord. Like a lion, he will leave his lair and their land will become desolate because of the sword of the oppressor and because of the Lord's fierce anger. So what does that have to do with you and I today? Well, I'm glad you ask. See, God's judgment is very real, and there's a just penalty for sin, that which separates us from God. The cup of God's wrath had to be poured out my disobedience and your disobedience had to be paid for in some way. And in his great love for mankind, God made a provision, a way of escape for those who repent and put their faith in Jesus Christ. The fierceness of his anger, the terror of his judgment, this is what was poured out on Jesus on the cross. Jesus bore the fullness of God's wrath and anger. Why? So you and I wouldn't have to. And here's what I hope you'll remember from Jeremiah 25 today. Jesus drank the cup of God's wrath that had my name on it and your name on it. <laughs>